Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I hope your last week was good. Let's check in and see what you can expect coming the next week, week and a half collectively for each pile. Today we have bracelets to choose from. And as a lot of you know, I am currently away visiting my friends in London. So we have interesting objects, not usual for me here in front of us. Let's see, for group number one, we have this bracelet. Actually, I bought this in Nepal and you can probably tell that it's quite old now. The same for pile number two. This I also purchased in Nepal. And group number three. So choose yours, see what you're vibing with. Need more time? Stop the video right here. I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello, group number one people. Let's see what we have happening for you next week, week and a half. And what we're starting with um, Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom. Look a little deeper. I'm going to pull tarot and we're going to read this all together. Let's see which deck we want. I feel like um, Super Lunaris is it. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. And we have the Seven of Wands. Bottom of a deck, the Moon. This is the vibe, pile number one. What I'm seeing here for the next week, week and a half, what you may expect happening. This is more so on the energetic level, soul level than anything else. We're gonna jump into the specifics later on, but here what we're seeing you may be very drawn to visiting um, ancient places or you may be very drawn to visiting places that you used to spend time at when you were younger or places that have a lot of memories in them for you. You may even have a dream about one of those uh, places in a dream state. You're going to be there. Would it be a town? Would it be a specific building, a house? And at that time, I would say, listen carefully with the Ace of Swords here, because as if your ancestors or your higher self, one of the two, has a message ready for you in that specific place. For some of you, you might not even know of that place which you want to visit, but your soul recognizes that you've been there before. You've been there before, you walked that land, on that land, you walked on that path, you may suddenly feel quite nostalgic. And this is a bit of a glimpse to a past life. I'm seeing here, you might want to do a bit of digging you don't have to you can just see close your eyes see with your eyes closed right what the energies are trying to tell you there because for some of you mm, it's gonna be like a sudden realization in that specific location that you have had a very important On a, again, on a soul level, very important memory happening there. Something that was really important in the past life. You, either you have conquered something in that place and you're suddenly remembering. It's going to come through as a feeling more than anything else. For some of you, it could be a vision. You conquered something or you won some sort of a battle. Or that's the place where you are fighting for something that you believed in for your community for 
your town. Or specifically, some of you were practicing a skill in that place. And it's something to do with either martial arts learning how to fight learning how to navigate the tools that you have it doesn't only have to be about fighting it can be also you are practicing a skill you are trying to get really good at something um, as a professional of that career in the past life so a lot of people in pattern number one you get in a vision a feeling it can be also on the way somewhere you go damn like what was that it feels nostalgic it feels like I've been here before it feels weird an interesting story can be uncovered there okay interesting start to see the least okay let's see what is the highlight I kind of want to take these cards back let's do it What's the highlight of the next week, week and a half? By the way, the land will be speaking to you. What is the highlight? We have three of pentacles. We have page of wands. We have knight of cups. Okay. We have the Empress, we have the Page of Cups, below the Page of Wands, interesting, and we have the Sun. Let me adjust it slightly. The highlight of the next week, week and a half, it feels like you you are quite social and it doesn't have to be for pleasure. You overall feel like you want to communicate with people and talk with them about ideas, the visions that you have, the goal that you have in mind. And if anyone is working in a team, you're going to have a great week. A strong team teamwork I'm getting here you will be very drawn to learning new things or getting better at one of your skills that you're trying to perfect um, you're very keen on learning overall so people might be into buying new books signing up for some sort of a course if anyone is looking for an opportunity to be invited somewhere or an offer next week week and a half keep your eyes open because it's around the corner all you need to do I'm hearing here is to just communicate with people you know what this reminds me of <laughs> this reminds me of uh, yesterday I was chilling with with my friends watching oh my god how is it called Ah, Australian survivor and one of the stories stood out for me there was this one woman who said at that time I didn't have a job I just moved to a new city um, and I saw a guy getting out of a car with two really really nice dogs so she went to pet the dogs and she started having a chat with this guy and she goes you know what if you need a dog walker like take my number I just moved here I do not have a job right now and I love your dogs turns out that guy is super rich and she ended up being his assistant and she loves her job right now she's like I'm I love helping people I love organizing schedule schedule things and this was the best opportunity but she made it happen herself so that's a hint for you 
talk to people, be interested in people because something may come out of it the next week, week and a half, especially if you're looking for opportunities or for growth. There might be information out there for you that you need to access or a person that you need to come up to or you, you need to start a conversation with. And you're gonna pretty you're gonna be pretty happy that you did. You may even hear um, a whisper or you're gonna have a feeling that I have to talk to this person, I have no idea why. Um, or I have to say hi to them and I don't maybe even know them that much. So teamwork, communication with other people is bringing quite a lot of happiness, opportunities coming your way. Just do not shut yourself off. Those who are mothers or fathers here, you're pretty proud of your children the next week, week and a half. Um, they're going to show you a part of them, a side of them that you haven't seen before. As if I'm hearing, oh my God, I didn't know you were so good at drawing or I didn't know you were so good at singing. Like they suddenly do something that they haven't done before and you go, damn, like you're really good at this. Do you want to practice more? Do you, wanna, do you want me to sign you up for that class? So I have a window open. Yeah, these are for people who have children. Um, recognizing the skill that your child has already. It's almost like they're already good at it with more practice. They will be amazing at something. And same would go for people who do not have children, to be honest. This is applied to you and yourself. This is your inner child. Allow your inner child to play next week. We're going to have try new things. Pages like to try new things. They're curious, like children, right? Let me see how that will go. Doesn't matter. Even if I, if I suck at it, I tried at least. You may discover something that you love doing or you better at than you actually thought and you may want to pursue it. Okay. Let's see what to watch out for. Pile number one. Anything to watch out for next week we can have. on the floor of half of a deck actually let me pick them up what to watch out for say do not dwell on past failures or past hurt it's important to feel your emotions but someone keeps coming back to a past event that they cannot let go of um, as if they don't want to heal it's, it's more comfortable I'm hearing for me to stay in my pain or to stay in this mindset because if I decide that I need to get this over and done with or 
I need to come out on the other side, then I'll have to take responsibility or have to take some sort of action to move forward. So for someone, it's more comfortable to dwell on the same thing, to be in that low, I don't want to say a low vibe, but low emotional state. That's what it is. Because I'm so used to it now. What if I heal that or what if I stop dwelling on this? I feel like then I'll need to take action. I'll have to take control of that steering wheel. And someone might be self-sabotaging here because what we see on the bottom row is the fool, the nine of cups and the six of uh, swords. What is waiting for me on the other side? So once I step out of this, I then have to step into the full and full takes action towards their own happiness, towards their own goals. And we move forward with that. So there is big self-sabotaging energy here. That's something to watch out for. Or someone says, hey, I want to change my routine. I want to have a better routine or lifestyle, but I keep doing the same thing every single morning or every single day. Therefore, I have the same results. But I keep talking that I want that, but don't do anything about that. Because I know that that's going to require action dedication or maybe discipline so just stay there so that's something to watch out for because that's not going to be super beneficial if that's for you you'll know that's for you it doesn't have to be for all people over here because i feel like some people have already dealt with this in the recent past and you already came out on the other side in like damn that's a much better way of living i have more energy I'm more driven, I gained my motivation back. So that's what I have for plan number one. As usual, if you need more content, you can find me on Patreon or on a second channel that's relationship-based. Everything is down in the description box and I hope you have a great week. Bye for now. Hello, plan number two. Let's see what's up for the next week, week and a half. What we got, we have karmic relationships, orient energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Let's pull some tarot and let's see what this is telling us. And I'm going to be using the Game of Thrones tarot for you all. What's important to know for the next week, week and a half? We have the Emperor. We have Nine of Cups. Oh, okay. This is actually good stuff. We have the Eight of Cups bottom of the deck we have the ten of coins and i want a bit more information here this is a bit of a story that's unfolding now i'm being given um 50 50 here for some of you this is you what you're going through but for others this is someone who is very close to you, whom you will see going through that. So see what feels right to you. Bottom, we have the Eight of Swords just below the Emperor. Let me adjust the camera slightly so you can see a little bit better.
two of coins below the nine of cups. Magician below the eight of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the knight of spears. Right. What is happening here? I'm just going to see someone. Okay, it's going to be easier. The highlight of the next week we're going to have is definitely relationships. And um, I'm seeing someone looking at a relationship with either their father or their partner or a father figure. So it can be a brother when you were growing up, for example who was a father figure for you or who was as protective as a father and um, I'm seeing someone looking at that relationship the next week we're gonna have slightly from a different lens what I thought about my relationship with that person versus what I see it how I see it now it's changing some people I'm seeing, they're a little bit lost in their head spaces. They might find out something that they didn't know about before. Or they may have a realization about this figure in their life that somehow makes them rethink their past. Or makes them look at this relationship from a different lens. I understand I'm hearing that we signed up for a lesson together that's why we have this karmic relationship and do not attach um, bad uh, feelings or or emotions to karma karma is universal balance it can be it can be light it can be dark well everything is a lesson right we learn from pain and we learn from love and happiness but we most of the time learn from pain and difficulties that kicks kicks our asses right in this situation what I'm saying someone was trying or will be trying to make everyone happy and there comes a time when they have to prioritize themselves I acknowledge we have this lesson that we signed up for we learn from one another as human beings as well as on a soul level but I also realize that I cannot mix my life and yours up and put it into one because we are independent people. We come here on our own, we die on our own. So the best thing I can do here is to understand why we are in the same community or in the same soul family. And someone is breaking away from some sort of a cycle pattern that they kept repeating again and again and again. And it made them feel that they're not true authentic selves. Or it made them feel that they had to constantly put the other person's wishes first. But I'm not getting that this person was demanding for that. I'm getting that someone was doing that because they thought that that was right. But the understanding next week we're going to have that they got it. Now is a time when I got to create a little bit of a distance between me and you. Not because I don't love you or not because I don't value what we have built or what we have. But because I have lost myself somehow. And I can see that you are your own person, but whenever I'm around you, I don't feel like I am even energetically independent because maybe I have an attachment style or I have a codependency of some sorts that I'm trying to work on. And next week, week and a half is really good week to work on that. Especially if people are trying to create energetic independence between themselves and someone else if they felt that they were giving away their energy to someone else too much and um, 
it was really maybe even difficult to be around someone or they were really drained being around someone not that they're doing something on purpose for some of you maybe that's the case but i'm not seeing it here not that they were doing something on purpose but it feels like someone was just merging themselves into someone else's being i hope i'm making sense here it's a very weird vision and sensations that i'm getting here whenever they call i come regardless of what i have happening for myself once i respect myself more i can respect other people and i can love love them much more i recognize that so i'm gonna start practicing this more often Because where I was before, it was creating a little bit too much chaos in my own head. And I wasn't feeling grounded and I wasn't feeling like I was honoring myself. What is the advice here? Eight of Coins, the Chariot. Queen of Spears. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm hearing, let's not take an easy way out and just throw something into trash. Because if we have not understood the situation or acknowledged a behavior and did something about it or changed or tweaked something, we might encounter a similar situation, but with someone else next. Now, I don't know if this is for you or if this is for the other person. First of all, I'm seeing someone acknowledging if that's something that they, that they want to work on. If that's something that would be beneficial to work on or to resolve. And I'm seeing someone not giving up. Someone is like, okay. Instead of, I'm seeing a poem. A blank piece of paper and someone is writing a poem. And um, they want to scratch a sentence. And instead of, by the way, they're writing in pencil. Instead of using a rubber to erase that sentence and to keep the rest of the poem and then continue writing it, they crumble up the piece of paper and they throw it in trash. It was only one sentence that had to be erased. Someone didn't have to throw the paper into the trash. But people have free will and they're going to go about the situation as they seem suitable. And a lot of people are in different situations here. So you're going to have to be discerning here in this reading if that is for you. Okay? Let's look at your highlights of the next week, week and a half. And I'm using the uh, Super Lunaris deck. What is the highlight of the next week, week and a half? We have the Hermit. We have the moon. We have justice. We have king of pentacles. We have Ten of Swords. We have a Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Nice. Mm-hmm. 
the highlight of the next week we're gonna have I'm seeing someone really digging into their subconscious and um, someone is implementing some sort of technique they are trying to reprogram their behavior this reminds me of doc uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's work I'm trying I'm hearing I'm trying to reprogram my mind and I can see the results because before I was using some sort of coping mechanism that was actually instead of helping me it was keeping me away from sense of freedom or happiness and I want to reprogram that behavior so that I can free myself from something. I hope this is making sense. I'm finally free of an experience. Experiences that I kept repeating. For a lot of you, I'm seeing masculine energy who's going to be a very strong support for you the next week we're gonna have. Whoever this is, um, this is someone who is very loyal and trustworthy. Um, this person gives me a feeling, if I was around them, I feel around, like being around a very supportive dad. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual father. It can be just someone who carries that kind of energy. Once you're around them, you feel that way. I feel if I'll need say help at 3 a.m. in the morning I can call them up and they'd come they'd come to help me like a, big, a bigger brother um, older sibling type of energy where they might even be the ones who have a chat with you it's gonna be a deep conversation that you have with them a very chilled one a healing conversation you have with them that's gonna help you unlock something within your mind. A lot of people in Pal to you coming back to balance. Um, you're feeling happy. You're feeling lucky because you have a couple of very loyal people around you. And next week we're gonna have you're gonna be super grateful. For having them in your life. Quite an abundant week for those who have their own businesses. Or those who want to sign new contracts. If you feel like you want to start your own business but you have no clue what it might be, I'd say next week, week and a half, you're going to be given a hint. Um, keep your eyes open. Either your body will give you like a, a sensation. You're going to be very drawn to something. It's like you, I'm seeing your body being pulled towards something in particular. Or you're going to have a light bulb moment like yes that's exactly what i want to try doing or yes that's exactly what kind of strategy i want to apply to my work so that's pretty much what i'm seeing for pile number two i hope this was beneficial as usual if you need more content i have patreon you can find me there everything is in in the description box down below and for extra relationship content i have a second channel I hope you have a beautiful week and until the next time, bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three, let's see what we can expect happening collectively for you guys. Okay, we have double mission, light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. Let's pull tarot and let's read this all together. Let's see which deck I want. I think let's go with Super Lunaris. Okay, sorry, I just washed my hands so the table is wet.
Mm -hmm. Page of Pens. King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. So the first thing what I'm getting here for you guys. Anyone who has any connection to either a podcast or you somehow use your voice so that people can hear what you got to say. Even in your workplace, for example, if you have to do a meeting, everyone is watching you, listening to what you got to say. It feels like you're going to have a really good week because people are keen on listening to you. Information that you have to share is very authentic. It's very unique. And I think the ideas that you're sharing with people or how you talk, it's very interesting and it's got a lot of value. So it's a good week for people, especially if you want to start your own podcast, your own vlog, your own blog, whatever it is to do with sharing information, specifically connected to what you are good at, what's your expertise, what's your experience like. It's bringing in fruit of labor. I'm seeing that this might be in the beginning stages or you might be thinking about something that is new to your maybe business or you're talking about a new project in front of people. Either way, I'm seeing someone who gets the concept and they're very good at explaining it. You act like a sponge the next week to information. Especially if people watching this have problems or issues with remembering information, remembering what they read about. And next week you soak in, in info that is beneficial and you're able to remember it and to express it in a very calm, assertive manner. Next week is not about hiding in the shadows for you, pile number three. It's about self-expression. It can also feel that feel like you want to buy something new for yourself, change something about your appearance, or if you an artist, your self-expression is going to be on point. What I feel and what I imagine, once I put it on canvas, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. You're very good at portraying a picture, painting a picture for someone. So use that to your advantage. What is the highlight of the next week, week and a half? Pile three. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have a star. We have judgment. We have the fool. Okay, you're not afraid to go for what you want for. Um, and that's where your luck lies. You are ready to take steps. Even if you are new to some sort of path or task, you don't doubt yourself. There was a point where you had to take it easy, where you had to take it one step at a time. At that point in your life, it feels like you generated an idea or a clearer vision where you want to go next or a goal. And you're ready to grow with that goal. You're ready to go for it. And you're not overthinking. You're like, okay, that's exactly what I want right now. I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to want in the future. But for now, in this chapter of my life, that's exactly what I want to seek for. And I, what I want to get. And therefore, I'm not questioning myself. I just take the next step as a fool would. And I'll see everything unfold in front of my eyes. If I'll need to tweak my path, if I'll need to go off, uh, maybe to... Um, and explore another road, I'll do that. I'm flexible. Flexibility is where your strength lies the next week, week and a half. Not being stuck in your head, not overthinking, doubting yourself too much. That's going to keep you away from what you want. And you know this already because a lot of you experience that maybe lately. Um, next week is all about, even if someone calls you up and they say, hey, do you want to go skiing? And you never went skiing before. And you go, yeah, fuck it, let's go. Never tried this before. 
It's about trying new things, okay? What to watch out for next week, week and a half? What to watch out for? We have the High Priestess. What to watch out for? Or what wouldn't be too beneficial for you? The Page of Swords. The suspended one, the hanged man. Mm -hmm. The two of cups, bottom of the deck, we have the king of cups. Okay, let me sit with this for a minute. I don't know why I'm getting the <laughs> getting it with this. There might be a situation where you ask someone for advice. Deep down you know how to solve an issue or what would be most beneficial for you. But someone goes, you know what, I don't think that's, that's right for you. I feel like you should do this or you should focus on that. Um, you should take that opportunity. Be very discerning between what someone else is telling you and what your intuition is trying to hint at and what you intuitively know that is right for you especially when it comes to advice in relationships or advice that has a connection to your own well-being what's best for you because i'm saying that you know deep down what would be best for you but someone else says something and once you hear that advice or answer, you go, mm, it feels like your body wants to dismiss what is being said because your intuition is fighting that. I hope I am explaining this clearly to you. Now, one more thing mm, before talking about a specific topic make sure you researched it well enough because I'm seeing um, a vision someone is preparing for a test that's an example someone's preparing for a test um, and they go you know what I'm gonna I'm pretty good at this subject so I'm just gonna open a book a night before the test and I'll read a couple of paragraphs kind of you know flick pages and I'm good I'm good to go there might be something in that book that you need to read about that you're not taking time to read about that would be really beneficial once you get to that meeting once you get to that test or once you talk to someone I'm seeing a possibility of someone skipping information that they need because they're like, ah, I know this. And there might be a situation where someone is show, being shown that you might not know as much as you think you know. So it's better to do a bit more research or it's better to spend a bit more time with that book than you initially thought. A bit of an ego play I'm getting here. Someone might also meet a person where they are maybe much knowledgeable on one topic than someone else. So instead of feeling, I'm seeing someone feeling either jealous or they're like, nah, they just show enough that they know that much. But if we just stepped into the page of swords and if we listened to what the other person has to say, we would find quite a lot of value in that conversation. Because then, instead of dismissing them, we would ask questions. And it would be quite a beneficial exchange. You might encounter a person like that yourself. Or this is you who might be going through that. So 
sorry I had to stop I had to stop there I was completely out of it I meant to say <laughs> I was looking outside the window I was like okay I meant it might be someone else who is experienced in that who has to listen up or this might be you yourself okay let's see what else what else for the next week we're gonna have pile threes what do we need to know about our authenticity here? Three of Swords. Nine of Cups. Very sweet energy, hey? Mm, I get it. Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords. I'm seeing someone questioning what they did before versus what they want to do next. It might be something else. I'm hearing I already achieved what I wanted to achieve using my authentic self, n knowing that that's exactly what I needed at that time. But next week we're going to have someone might start questioning themselves. Maybe there is something else that I want to do. M maybe there is something else that I should experience do not feel bad about it because I'm seeing an opportunity to learn or go for something new not to say that you completely have to let go of what you know about I'm seeing someone adding to their experiences adding to their knowledge say for example if I was really good at my artwork was really was really different my style my sense of aesthetics was really different from maybe what is out there and I know I'm good at this and I've achieved quite a lot maybe because I have ex ex expressed my emotions in my art what I've gone through my experiences and next week I sit with myself and I'm like damn I'm kind of I kind of want something new like a fresh breath of air what if I start trying, for example, instead of brush and canvas, what if I try painting on an iPad? Maybe I know that I always said that I value original artwork, but what if I can try something new, see what technology has to offer, uh, or maybe I need one specific tool or one specific effect on a canvas that I cannot do with a with a brush that I can do using an iPad or a specific program for art artists and then my vision comes true something that I, that I envisioned now I can take action on it and I can make it happen how about merging those two things together? How about I scan my artwork and I perfect it for, for example, a print on a program? See what I mean? This is metaphorical, but that's what I'm getting for pile number three. Knowing what you're good at and knowing what you deep down want to still explore and for some of you, you kind of have a clash, uh, inner conflict I'm, I'm sensing, like, but I always said I wouldn't do that. Obviously, do not do something that you don't feel comfortable with. But I'm saying for some people, it would be beneficial maybe picking up a new, or trying a new technique, adding another tool to your basket. taking your creativity, your art forward. Okay, so I hope this made sense, pile number three. If you know this is your scenario, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you need extra content, you know where to find me on Patreon. And if you need extra content based on relationships, I have a new channel all linked down below. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.